The ones we're going to look at here, they all use this, this formula from physics. It basically tells you the height of an object above the ground at, in feet after t seconds. Uh, you'll always have a negative 16 in front. That comes from gravity. Negative 16 t squared plus v0 t. Now v0 is the initial velocity in feet per second and that may be given and there might be some problems where they ask you to find it. And then the, the h zeros is the initial height. Again, maybe that might be given in the problem or maybe you may actually might be able to have to find it. Uh, there might be some problems where they don't mention anything about the initial height. It may be okay to infer that the initial height is zero. Here we go. On this first one, they're telling you that a rock is thrown directly upward from on top of a 400 foot building. Okay, that's the initial height right there. That's h zero. H zero is 400. And with initial velocity of 48 feet per second, so that's v zero. So all you have to do is go over to this equation and plug in 48 for v zero and 400 for h zero. So now you have the equation. You can answer any question. What is the first question? The first question is uh, how high above the building is the stone after two seconds? Well, we have h of t, which is the height above the ground. So if you find h of two, which is turns out you just plug in two everywhere there's a t, you get 432 feet. But the question is how high above the building is it? So you would have to subtract 400 from that, right? The answer is 32 feet above the building. That's pretty sneaky, isn't it? Second question is, what is the maximum height? And they mean the maximum height above the ground. This is a question about the vertex. So if, if, you, know the, if you know the formula for the, for, uh, for the function, the vertex is uh, negative b over 2a. Now be careful here. Negative b over 2a is going to tell you the time when it reaches the maximum height. Th this actually asks you to find the maximum height. So once you compute negative b over 2a, you're going to have to plug that into h of t, aren't you? All right, so a is negative 16, b is 48, c is 400. Again, when you, when, you, when you compute negative b over 2a, that's the time when it reaches the maximum height. You'd now have to plug that into your, into your um, height function. You plug in h of uh, 1.5, and, and you turn up, um, you get 436 feet. How about this one? How long is, it in the, how long is, is the uh, rock in the air? Well, that's a sneaky way of saying when does it hit the ground. So you'd set this equal to zero. Set, set the equation equal to zero and solve for t. It looks like the quadratic form is going to be helpful. Here's a piece of advice. To make your life a little simpler, notice that 16 goes into everything. So I'm going to divide everything by negative 16. You, you can do that. It doesn't change the, uh, the zeros. If you, if you divide both sides by negative 16, you get this. Throw this into the quadratic formula. You get um, a is 1, b is negative 3, c is negative 25. So inside the square root, I think you get 9 plus 100. So you get 109 inside the square root. Anyway, so it's going to have two solutions. However, one of them doesn't really make, make sense. If you look at 3 plus square root of 9 over 2, uh, that becomes about 6.7 se seconds. But if you look at 3 minus square root of 109 over 2, that becomes negative 3.7. So we're, we're going to rule this, this one out. It doesn't make sense in this problem. Uh, same formula. In this next one, um, it says an object is projected directly up in the air and lands 12 seconds later. It almost seems like they don't tell you enough information, I think. But what is the initial height? It doesn't mention anything about the initial height, so let's just assume it's zero. Let's assume that it's, that it's being um, uh, projected straight up from, from ground level, because there's no, no reason to think other, otherwise. So in that case, the formula, at least what we can gather so far is h of t is negative 16t squared plus v0t. So the question is, the first question is, what is the initial velocity? Okay, well, uh, all they tell us is that h of 12 is 0. So let's, let's use that fact. h of 12 is 0, all you have to do is plug in 12 for t, the whole thing should equal 0. So 0 equals this function evaluated at 12. Notice you get an equation involving v0. So v0 turns out to be 192 feet per second. Pretty cool. Second question, what is the maximum height? Well, you understand, of course, now that we know v0, we know everything there is to know about this function. The maximum height, you would um, make sure you understand what's going on here. The maximum height is actually the second coordinate of the vertex. We're going to find t as negative b over 2a, which is 6 seconds. And then we're going to plug that into the function to actually find the maximum height, which is 576 feet. Okay, like I said, these are kind of sneaky. Try, try this one. See if you can do this one. A stone is dropped into a well and hits, hits the water 
eight seconds later. The question is how deep is the well? See if you can do that. Make sure you draw a picture on these. This is what's going on. Uh, you don't know the initial height. If, if you let H0, that, that's, that's the uh, question mark we have here. But it says dropped. Did, did, you, did you pick up on that? Drop means V0 is 0. So the question is, what is H0? And we are given the fact that H of 8 equals 0. So all you have to do is plug in 8 into this formula. And set, set the whole thing equal to 0 so we can solve for H0. You get 1,024 feet. Nice. We're using the same formula. This one, I made this one up, can you tell? We have a cricket that jumps directly up into the air and reaches a maximum height of 24 inches. And the question is, what was the cricket's initial velocity? So again, it, uh, it would be okay to assume that uh, H0 is 0. They don't tell us what initial velocity is. I think that's what the question asked for. Um, they do tell us the maximum height is 24 inches, but isn't that mean? That's, you have to use feet, otherwise this formula isn't, isn't uh, valid. So in your science classes, especially physics and chemistry, they love to do that to you. Make sure your units uh, match up. So you have to change this to 2. So they're giving us the maximum height is 2, and they want us to find the initial velocity. Again, it seems like they're not telling us enough information. So this is where we're at. We know that H0 is 0, because the cricket's jumping from the ground. So how would we use the fact that the maximum height is 2? Well, A is negative 16, v, um, B is V0, and C is 0. Um, the time that it reaches the maximum height is negative b over 2a, which, is, which is, turns out to be v0 over 32. What we want to do here is find h of this number, right? In terms of the ver vertex, this is, this, this is the t coordinate of the vertex. We want to find h of this. So you know that h of this, uh, h of this is, is the maximum height. We also know that that's equal to 2. So we're, we're going to use this fact. It says the maximum height is 2, so h of v0 over 32 has to equal 2. Plug in, this is where it gets kind of messy, plug, it, plug this into, into, the, into the function, remember the function is right here. Plug in, wherever there's a t, plug in v0 over 32. So you get this, and set it equal to 2. And you get this. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to solve this equation by clearing the fractions. Multiply both sides by 32 squared. So this becomes negative 16 v0 squared, this becomes 32 v0 squared, and this becomes 2 times 32 squared. Um, this is one of those times where it's better not to sim simplify too much. These can be combined though. When, when you combine these two terms you get 16 v0 squared. When you divide by 16 you get this. So the last step is to, is to um, take the square root of both, both sides. What's the square root of 32 squared? Isn't it 32? And what's the square root of 16? Isn't it 4? So what you end up with is that v0 equals 32 uh, square root of 2 over 4, which is 8 uh, square root of 2 feet per second. Pretty nice, huh? Okay, we have another minute left. So let's see if we can use our graphing calculator to check our answer. So we got that v0 is 8 square root of 2. And that makes the function h of t equaling negative 16 t squared plus 8 square root of 2 t. So let's see on the graphing calculator, if you enter the function h of t, or let's just enter y1 equal um, negative 16 x squared plus 8 squared of 2 x. And let's, uh, let's, let's, let's use the window 0 to 1 on x and 0 to 3 on y. So, so the graph looks, looks kind of like this. Let's, let's, let, let's find that vertex. Remember how to do that? Second calc, go down to maximum, hit enter, and then we have to get to the left of it, hit enter, get to the right of it with the arrow key, hit enter, now get to the middle and hit enter, and what you end up with is the y coordinate is 2, which it should be. Remember the cricket jumps 2 feet high, and this uh, T coordinate actually is 0.353. Now what does that 0.353 mean? That's equal to negative B over 2A, right? So that, that, that should equal V0 over, over 32. So if you take 8 square root of 2, let's, let's see if that's right. If you take 8 square root of 2, 8 times the square root of 2, and you uh, divide that by 32, there you go. You get a uh, .353. All right, we got to go. Bye bye.